G'day everyone, Damp here from Damp Collectibles. I'm joined here today with my friend. Hey guys. And today we're going to play another custom game of MetaZoo. Uh, so these are custom built decks. Uh, they're sort of like like this one. My Lightning deck is slightly loosely based on a Meta deck from a little while back now. Um, and of course we have my friend playing my Time Marshall deck, which is the light like iteration of like the ghost marshal mixed with some wilderness cards and stuff like that it's really cool i really like that deck and i'd like to showcase it a bit more on the channel uh, yeah, it was pretty fun to play against yeah this is my first time playing it yeah so we did that off uh, we did film it but we don't think we'll upload that video because it's like 54 minutes long or something like that <laughs> and really didn't work out the way we wanted it to work out so we're gonna try to um do a few more games with that one in the future um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying what you've seen here, and without any further ado, we'll go into the match. Um, just gonna roll... One. One. <laughs> I think you're going first. <laughs> One. What? <laughs> no way! <laughs> 20 other sides of the dice to roll, and I yeah. roll the exact same one. 17. Okay. I'm going first. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will cure. I'm gonna keep. That's a tricky one. Um, yeah, I'll keep. Let's see what happens. Okay. I will draw for turn. Lightning storm out. Lightning aura down. Lightning glass down. Oh god. Pass down. <clears throat> yeah, bookmark. Um Place an aura down, place daytime down. Um, pass turn. Okay, stand and draw. I will generate three, play Metal Man of Alabama. Uh, are you going to do his fourth wall effect or not? Um, mm, I guess we just assume, but then again, if you assume. He gets that, then I would have radio on my list, which means he wouldn't. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So we might as well play because... with it or without it. Um, now let's just do fourth wall as in whatever it is we have the best version of it. So yeah, I so don't have radio. Oh, you don't have radio. No. Okay. Well, yes. So if um if someone has uh, radio on their fourth wall effect list or whatever. Um, or there is actually a radio within our site. Metal Man actually loses fleet and first strike, so he would come in fatigued, and in combat he doesn't hit first. Mm -hmm. We're going to play it so it's best of our abilities or whatever, so Metal Man will swing at you for 50. Yep. Past turn. In most tournaments, though, if you're playing one... A lot of people have radio yeah. on their list, so... You're generally not going to be able to get fleet and first strike out of him. Yeah. Um... I guess I'll generate the two to bring out a headless nun. Yeah. She doesn't have any contract effect. She will get ten life from daytime though. Yep. Um past turn. Okay. Stand. Draw. I will place down a lightning aura. Generate four to bring in a Quatlas. Uh oh. <laughs> so Quatlas has flying fleet and first strike. Uh, lightning Storm is out, so he gains 50 damage on his attack, and there is a light bulb above the arena, which gives him an extra 10 damage, so he will actually swing for 90 damage. Yep. And 50 from Metal Man. Oof. And past turn. This could be a pretty quick game. I know. <laughs> Lightning's a bit too aggressive, I think. Um, so Bookmark and Awaken. At least I've got Spirit. Um, put an Aura down. And then, um, I think I'll pass turn. I'm not going to attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. You can't block at the moment. Um, so it'll just be 30 to you. 20. Plus 10 from daytime. Life points. Oh, that's just life points. Yeah. So yeah, 20. 20, man. Um, yeah, past turn. Okay. Stand. 
control. I'll generate two and play a lightning ball into the arena. Uh, so lightning ball at the start of my turn will generate one extra lightning aura, but I also lose 25 points at the start of the turn. Um, I will go 50 into you with Metal Man. Yep. And 90 with Kets. Yep. And pass my turn. Okay. Good luck. Awaken. Um, generate three. And then banish Kets. Ooh. That's the biggest threat right now, I think. Not a bad idea, but you could have done a better version of that because it goes to the bottom of my deck. Yeah, oh, you have Chaos Potion in here. What? Oh, I get you. You use the Nun to change Ch the Dark type yeah, and then yeah. it goes to the Afterlife. Yep. Do you want to do that? Um, she I guess. will take 20 damage, though. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Since I let you have your Metal Man <laughs> fleet stuff. Because you could have just used that to go to the bottom and then attack me for another yeah. 20, which it wouldn't have been a bad idea as well. Because then you could have started working on the glass. True. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's probably the best move. I was wondering, I was only thinking of having her when I've got two nuns out. To take damage so, with one so it gets extra buff yeah. on the other. Yeah. It's a really, really good card. Um, all right, pass turn. That's okay. all I can do. So stand, draw, I take 25 damage because of ball lightning, and then draw. Um, hmm. I'll swing at you for 50 because lightning storms out. Yep. Yep. And then Metal Man will go 50. Yep. Uh, I think I'm going to generate two, play Witch's Lightning. Kind of a waste, but it says target up to three beastie. Each beastie is dealt 20 damage until the end of this turn. Each beastie is also considered lightning and gains first strike. You won't kill her though. No. But it's closer to being dead, so you <laughs> can't use her power anymore. That's true. Um, how does paralyze work? It's till the end of the next turn? Yeah, so if you paralyzed me, I'd be paralyzed all through my yeah. turn. Yeah, and then at the end of your turn, you're opposed. I'm just going to pass turn. Okay. I think I might leave that for the moment. So, bookmark, awaken everything, place an aura down. Um, mm, unicorns are just going to die. <coughs> they do have contract ability, remember? Yeah, I could heal the nun, but. Then you just kill them. And I don't have another nun to benefit from that nun being alive right now. You can do other things with the nun though, because they can change the type to die. Yeah, that's true. And you have artifacts that kill the dark types. Mm. So just remember that if you can work that one around. So far I cannot. <laughs> so, yeah, generate three. Yeah. Play Mountain of Youth. Yeah. So I guess it's fatigued, but the arena effect is still there. But then next turn I'll be able to fatigue it and use the power. Yeah. Yeah. Um, generate one artifact barrier. Mm, nice. So at least that'll protect it for a turn. Yeah. And because Fountain of Youth costs more than zero. Oh yes. Artifact barrier allows you to draw. Yep. All right. Um. <coughs> Glass for 20. Yep. And then I'll pass turn and recover 100 life. Recover 100? At the end of each. the difference between your age. No, at the end of each turn, target caster recovers 100 LP minus their age. Yeah. So, so that'd be rounded down so, yeah. or rounded up? Rounded down. It's always rounded down in Meta's. So. It'd be 70, wouldn't it? Well, that'd be if I was 30. So say. The 65. <clears throat> so yeah, I've already not, given myself 100, I need to take away 35. Yeah. Okay. Not as good as I thought, but still good. It's still good, yeah. 
Um, what if I identify as being one year old? <laughs> We're not going into that. <laughs> um, stand and draw. I take 25 from the ball lightning. Yep. I will place down another lightning glass. Um, metal man will hit you for 50. Yep. And another 50 with ball lightning. Yep. And then I will lightning in a bottle, metal man, mm. swing for another 50. Past turn. <clears throat> so I'm still losing more each turn than I'm gaining. Well, I'm pretty youth. sure Fountain of Youth works on both turns. True. Doesn't it? So yeah, it says so at the end of each turn, yeah. target caster. So you go plus 65 again. Yep. 50, 65. And now this is gone? Yes. Okay. It's only a one turn thing. <clears throat> Spell? Yep. Um, now you can use it to recover your nun if you want, or recover more of your own life points. Um, yeah, because my silver bullet will be fatigued. So I think I'll give myself 75 life back. Mm -hmm. And then we'll spend one to use index. Mm -hmm. So then I can look for. I'm trying to think who the best option would be right now. Because I don't have many silver bullets, so. Yes, but when you play Ghost Marshal to the field, you get to search your spell walk for another bullet. True. Which will give you a second bullet. They come in for free, they come in with bleed, and then you can kill anything with them. They yeah. don't have to be a certain type. <clears throat> oh, that's a good option too. <laughs> Even another nun's a good option. Yeah. Father Time's in there too, who can yeah. be pretty tanky when daytime's out. He's also flying. So you wouldn't be able to kill him unless you have a cats. I wouldn't be able to kill I'd be able to kill him with ball lightning. After two turns. One turn. Oh you're yeah, two 50. turns. Yeah, sorry. But I also have the chance to paralyze. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go for Father Time. Mm, interesting. It, it was that or Dragon of a Conto Falls. I would have went for the Ghost Marshal. Next turn, play him in the field, search for a bullet, play the other bullet. Yeah, but with, two. with him, I can with his power, I can shuffle anything back in and draw that many. Yeah. So I might draw the Ghost Marshal and a few silver bullets. Yeah, maybe, but it never really works that no. way. <laughs> it probably won't. There is, I think there's eight bullets in the deck. Okay. So there is quite a big possibility that you'll pull it. But yeah. I, I would have went for the Ghost Marshal. You could have played him next turn and instantly killed both of them because I'm... Probably going to kill the Fountain of Youth this turn. I've only got one silver bullet. But yeah, I could have pulled another one out. When you play okay. him, you... Yeah, when you play him, you search and play it straight to the field. Um, I'll just hit the glass that's already damaged for another 20. 20. Yep. I pass turn and regain 65. 50, 65. Yep. So stand, I take 25, it's draw. That's a bit of a shield as well, really, because it's like, you have to kill that. Yeah. Like, it, well, like, look, you've gone up like 200 and something yeah. life points. Otherwise, you would have been down to like 300 by now. Yeah. It's a really, really good card, honestly. Um, In 75, like, it's not easy to kill. No. Well, that's it. I'll generate one, and I will lightning bolt the nun. So 25 damage and paralyze, but it'll die, yep. obviously. Um, I will then... 50 damage on the Fountain of Youth. Yep. And I guess and you're going to kill it. Metal Man's going to kill it. Yep. Because I can't have any more of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to pass my turn because I can't do anything else. Okay. Bookmark. Awaken. See, now the Ghost Marshal would have been good because you could have just cleared the field. Yeah. Like. Um, yeah, generate four. Father Time. Um... Past turn. Okay. Stand and draw. I'll generate one and play bookmark. Mm -hmm. Draw two. And then I'll generate four, play cats. Oh. Cats will kill Father Time. Oh. 
And now I will lightning and a bomb cats do 90 damage to you. And then another 100. Pass down. There you go. Bookmark, awaken, uh, generate one prism beam. So now this generates two. Generates light two. So does that mean I have five right now? No. It's only when you fatigue, I'm pretty sure it states on the card. When you fatigue this page, it will generate an extra light aura. Upon generating aura. Yep. yep. So you got to wait until the next turn to use it. True. A bit of a like a bit of a not great card, but at the end of the day, like it can really save. Mm -hmm. Especially like early game, you get the first aura out, and then like like if it's first turn, you get the aura out, and then you play that under there. Yeah. Second turn, you already have two aura. You can potentially play a third one. And you can't kill it. Yeah, it's a really good card. Uh, past turn. Okay, so stand. How many banish you got in here? <laughs> two. You're only allowed to run two. <laughs> Draw for turn. I take twenty five from the ball lightning. I'll generate two for another ball lightning. Mm. So I'm going to end up killing myself at this point. Um, but yeah, 90 at you. 50 and 50. Pass turn. I think I'd like two turns to do something. You should have went for the ghost mark. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's like the best card in light at the moment, I reckon. Yeah. Mm. So that's awake. That's six. Mm. Alright, I'll generate. How much damage are you doing each turn? 50, 100, 190, 240. Oof. So you got two turns to live. Yeah, that's. I don't think that's going to help me. <laughs> I'm just going to generate. Oops, two. Play two unicorns. Yep. And heal myself damage. 60 yep. with their effects. So um, on play, they can uh, heal a beastie caster or artifact for 30. So that's why he gains 60 life back. Yep. Um, generate another two. Two silver bullets. <laughs> Might mitigate some damage. Uh, pass turn. Okay. Stand. I take 50 damage because of the two ball lightnings and I draw. I don't need aura. I've got mm. three, seven, nine aura at the moment. Yep. <laughs> don't need any of it. Um, I guess I'll just swing 150 into you. And Cats will swing 90 at you as well. And past turn. There you go. So even if I draw a nun, which I didn't, I still couldn't have um, used the bullet that uh, turn. Yeah. <clears throat> Oops, that was two. Place an aura down. Um, generate two, three, and power up red a unicorn. Oh, I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Um, flying, 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 not flying. Yeah, you can pretty much only kill Metal Moon. And without a page being dark or spirit, you can basically only fatigue. But then I'd cast turn and he'd wake up. Yep. That's so, why they suck. I guess you'd That's use why you should have got the Ghost Marshal. <laughs> so you'd use that to stop people blocking. Like if you had Metal Man awake as a blocker. Yeah. I would fatigue, fatigue him. him. Now you don't have a blocker. Up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these literally can't do anything right now. Mm -hmm. um, unicorn will not kill him. And then you'll just kill the Unicorn. Um, Take out your glass. Okay. Not that it'll really do much damage. Uh, no, I would have left him as a blocker to mitigate damage. Yeah. But he could have survived one more turn. Yeah. Just. Past turn. Because <laughs> you could have been able to block him, uh, which would have killed my cats. He would have taken damage. 
he could have blocked one of these. True. It would have only been 10 damage trickling through, which would have been 110 in total. Yeah. Saving you. But now it's going to be game. <laughs> so yeah, I draw for turn. Uh, I'll generate, I take 50 damage because of these. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to create a 7-7 seven, seven Ding Bell. Ooh. Which, for people that don't know, this is the card that you run to counter the radio. Yeah. For this, because they have to take 50 life points if they don't want to put away their electronic, their electronic devices. devices. Um, and every time he attacks, he will create seven Ding Bell tokens now, all 20 life points, 10 attack. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I'll swing at you for 50. Yep. Swing at you for 50. Yep. And then 90. Block. Yep, so 90 damage on him. I get to roll for Paralyze, actually, instead True. of hitting back, which I failed. So then you kill the Kets, and then Metal Man finishes the game. Block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, True. if you if you had have done that, you would have had one more turn, which yeah. you would have drawn Banish. Banish. <laughs> but then you would have killed me with Ding Bell. Yes. Like, I would have banished... Uh, you could have banished the Ding Bell. But by then you would already have had the tokens. Yeah. So I, probably... I, I still probably would have won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Mm. Um, it was cool to show off. Uh, it would be better to get a, another game where the Light Marshal might be a bit more, like the Time Marshal or whatever I call it, to be a bit more aggressive. We might even do a round two where we just swap decks. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Yeah. Like now. Yeah, we can film it right now. Yeah, right. Now. Yeah, cool. That wouldn't have been a very long. No, it probably would have been like yeah. a 20 minute video or something. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe. I'll oh, just go now. Oh, if correct. you want to. Yeah, okay. I'll just double check the time on this actually though. Yeah, if it's like. I don't know where the time is located. My side. Your side. Down the bottom of the screen. I can't see it. Unless I. There we go. Uh. 25 minutes, uh, which will be about 20 minutes. I think we cut it now that I've just done that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more MetaZoo gameplay. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thanks, guys. Bye.